What's going on guys, Zach here. I'm really excited about this. So, this is going to sound crazy to most of you, but I have searched for nearly 10 years to get my hands on this little kick here. This is an 18 by 14 Yamaha Maple Custom bass drum. So, I know it sounds crazy, most people probably wouldn't care or whatnot, but I've always wanted this little 18 inch kick to add to my kick or kit and now I finally got my hands on it and uh, the reason it's here though at my wood shop and not on my kit is because unfortunately after all these years of searching and finally getting one in the mail thanks to my buddy Mark down in uh, Texas there uh, UPS unfortunately I'm going to call you out, UPS, has damaged it in shipping. So, unfortunately, I've got a giant crack in the hoop here. And I'm waiting to hear what's going to happen uh, from UPS. But unfortunately, it sounds like they're really not going to do much, uh, even though you know we have insurance on it, because they want to take the whole thing back, send it back to the original... Uh, owner and refund his money and give him credit for it but then if I still want the base drum then we gotta try to reship it again and chances are we're gonna have more issues so I'm really hoping that maybe they'll do something for us or you know some kind of payout but it's not really fixable but well it's gonna be fixable we're gonna try but it's one of those things where I mean it took me this long to find a base drum good luck finding just a hoop but if anyone out there has a vintage natural 18 inch bass drum hoop, let me know. I'd be glad to uh, buy it from you. So what I'm going to do is I went out and just bought uh, just some uh, ratcheting band clamps that are for woodworking. They've got the corner protectors. And of course, we've got plenty of wood glue. I'm going to pull this hoop off and we're gonna try to glue it back together and see what happens structurally but I'm not gonna start yet I'm gonna have to stay tuned I wanna wait a couple of days until I hear from UPS to see what's gonna happen with this bad boy but uh, chances are we're gonna have a gluing experiment but I'm really excited this thing is killer um, he put an EMAT on there, which is awesome because that's one of my favorite bass drum heads, period. Um, I'm still debating. I think I might keep this separate uh, instead of ruining it, and then I will go get a new bass drum head, and I might do a tiny little port on it. But if you've seen my Yamaha kit, uh, it's going to be awesome, and I can't wait to add this. And I will show you what the new setup's going to look like as soon as I figure out what we're going to do with this. So stay tuned. Thanks.